Hello everyone, it is me back again, coming out of my lockdown hibernation and as you can probably tell by the title of the video, I am not very happy. We just got some news around about half an hour ago that has really pissed me off and that is the news that the Green Arrow and the Canaries has not been picked up by the CW. Uh, I'm just, <laughs> I'm really, really disappointed in this news and also very angry at the same time. A little bit of both, I guess. But yeah, it's official. It's not happening. The worst kept secret for almost an entire year has been officially revealed. The backdoor pilot for this aired on the 21st of January and as of recording this, it's the 8th. So yeah, nearly a whole year that it's taken the CW to actually get off their asses and actually give us an update as to what's happening with this fucking show. And it's not happening. I'll read the article from The Hollywood Reporter regarding this. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you guys want to read it. But there's not exactly a lot of information on it at the moment. It's all very vague and hush-hush. It's the true end of an era at the CW. The network has passed on ordering Arrow spin-off Green Arrow and the Canaries to a series. The drama, which aired as a backdoor pilot during the flagship's final season last year, followed the women of Arrow, Catherine McNamara's Mia Smoke slash The Green Arrow, and The Canaries, Katie Cassidy's Laurel Lance, and Juliana Harkavy's Diana Drake. If you go further down the article, it says, With the decision to pass on the series order for Green Arrow and the Canaries, the CW is looking ahead to a new development for what remains of the DC-verse. The network is teaming with Ava DuVernay for a new DC Comics drama that could be connected to pre-existing properties. Super producer Greg Bellanti is also readying Painkiller, a spin-off of Black Lightning. The latter drama is ending its run this year with its fourth and final season. Supergirl will also conclude its run this season after six seasons. That's actually something I've never mentioned on this channel, have I? Yeah, um, it got announced that Black Lightning and Supergirl are ending. I can't believe I've never actually covered this on the channel, but um, yeah, quick thoughts for those ones. Um, Black Lightning, um, I'm a bit upset that it's ending, but I can see why. It's been a really good show. It's kind of reaching a high point, so I prefer it to go out on a high rather than on a limb, so I'm happy with it in that regard. Supergirl, to be honest with you, I couldn't really care less about. It's a show that I've Never really felt, in my opinion, has had a solid season all the way through. Um, I can see why it's ending, because Melissa is quite a big star. She wants to move on to other things, and she obviously recently had a kid and take a bit of time out of the spotlight, so I'm not really surprised Supergirl's ending at all. Irish showrunners Beth Schwartz and Mark Guggenheim penned the script for Green Arrow and the Canaries. Schwartz has since moved on to a Netflix show from DC Comics, i.e. Sweet Tooth, while Guggenheim is readying the LA Law sequel for NBC, and also he is obviously working on the Green Lantern series as well for HBO Max, uh, but he doesn't mention that in the article. Meanwhile, the CW is yet to make a decision on its untitled 100 prequel, with fellow pilots The Lost Boys and Maverick still also in contention again i'm just really annoyed by this because if you guys have watched my arrow season 8 video i obviously went over my thoughts on the backdoor pilot and the setup for it in that video but i actually really enjoyed the backdoor pilot i really enjoyed that episode i thought it was really good the first half of it yes pacing wise was a little bit crazy it was trying a bit too hard at times to set up things, but on the overall, I actually really enjoyed it. I didn't mind the setup that they had for it for Arrow Season 8. It was something that grew on me a lot more during rewatches of Season 8, and I actually really enjoyed where they were going with that. It actually really made me like Mia in the direction they were taking her character primed for this spin-off show because in season seven you guys will know i did not like mia smoke at all they finally found what clicked with her to make her an interesting character and when that happened i was really fully on board with this spin-off show and where it was going to go so to have all of that and then just you know cw just sit on their asses for a whole year say nothing to us and then almost a year after the episode airs just like yep yeah, we're not going to do it i wanted to see more of mia i wanted to see more of diner because God forbid Arrow has literally done fuck all with her character since she was introduced in season 5. And more importantly, I really wanted this because I really wanted to see more of Earth 2 Laurel. I really wanted to see more of that character. We could have explored more of her backstory, her time on Earth 2. There was so much potential with this. And the thing is as well, because this was a backdoor pilot that was shot almost a year ago, you've already got all of the sets there that you've already done for this backdoor pilot. It's not something like Painkiller where they've obviously had to film this during the pandemic. They didn't already have all of these uh, sets and costumes all laid out already. Whereas for Green Arrow and the Canaries, they've had this for well over a year. And I just don't get it, especially during COVID times. For me, it would have just made more sense to have greenlit something that you've already got the resources for, rather than having to try and 
build something from the ground up, especially at, in a desperate time like this. Doesn't make sense. But because of them dilly-dallying on this and not making a decision, it's got to the point where people didn't know who were involved with the project. Like the actors constantly had to make statements on social media saying that they didn't know what was happening. And then it got to the point where, as it states in the article, Beth Schwartz, she's gone to do her own thing. Mark Guggenheim has gone to do his own thing. He's completely left the Arrowverse as a whole. There was other people involved with the show as well who've moved on to other things. And um, I honestly don't blame them because the CW has literally provided no update on this show, not just to them, but to us as an audience for a whole year. And if I was being fucked around like that by a net, Network, I would more than happily jump ship because I'm sacrificing job opportunities for something that might not even happen. You've also got a really loyal fan base with the Arrow fans that would obviously be jumping onto this show from Arrow since that's ended. You've got characters in there that have been on the show for a very long time that can help carry this show whilst you've got this new lead in Mia Smoke, who's obviously going to carry a fair portion of the screen time because you've got diner there who you've got laurel who's been there since the fucking pilot i don't get this because even with these other spin-offs they've got running around everywhere you've got the painkiller spin-off and look i don't mind painkiller as a character on black lightning but i just can't see how a show around him is gonna intrigue me all that much because from what i've seen it just looks like it's going to be a b-tech version of the punisher on netflix i hate to be honest but i just don't find much appeal to it because it's something that's already been done on Netflix to an incredibly high standard and with this given that it's on the CW I just don't really feel any sort of intrigue towards it whereas with Green Arrow and the Canaries that was something that was very different you've got this female team up it's happening in the future so that, so that adds a new perspective to it as well discovering this future world what the impact of Arrow season 8 has had on this future world I was really intrigued in seeing that and even when I compare it to other stuff the 100 spin-off that they've got planned no interest in that whatsoever and from what i've heard a lot of people didn't like that spin-off episode anyways so if that somehow gets picked up then you can definitely expect a part two of this rant to get uploaded sometime soon but yeah overall i'm just really annoyed with this decision by the cw it really pisses me off i really think they could have had something great on their hands with this show i think it was something that had a lot of potential i was really excited for it season eight did a great job of setting it up but you know like I say, it's been the worst kept secret for ages because we just heard nothing about this show since it aired. And I would kind of prepared myself for this news, but the fact that it's still arrived doesn't change how much it hurts for me because I was really looking forward to it. And unfortunately, you know, we're not going to get it and it really pisses me off. But that's it for this video. Uh, I'm sorry if this isn't as angry or as mad as you were probably expecting but honestly with considering how shit 2020 has been and the fact that the uk is in another lockdown i'm just exhausted of all emotions so i'm really sorry that i couldn't provide a more angry rant for you guys i'm sorry i will try my best in the future but thank you very much for watching please leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on green Arrow and the care is not being picked up are you as sad about it as me or are you somebody who actually didn't want the show to get renewed anyway in which more power to you but yeah thanks all for watching and i hope to see you all again next time